As a player of grassroots football, when I'm playing, I feel like Billy Elliot. <laughs> I feel electric. <laughs> I'm Sophie Hurd and I'm a fashion designer. Yeah, I love the, like, the way it's just... Growing up in Darlo, it was like a big football scene. It was like what everyone would do. I'm like going to matches with my dad and stuff. And even though I didn't really follow it religiously, I think it was just always something in conversation. So it was nice to like go back to that, but give it a new context. <laughs> Studying in fashion and interning at brands across the industry, I was shocked by the scale of fabric and products destined for landfill. I upcycle football shirts, sportswear. Yeah. Where I get all my materials is usually like car boots, or like markets on eBay, so it's all secondhand stuff. And a lot of it is just like quite old and unloved, so when I work with it, it's kind of giving it a new life and re-energizing the, the material that I'm working with. I think there's a lot of like power in clothing and design and it allows people to feel confident or express however they want to be. Fast forward five years and I've had opportunities to work with big brands and big personalities. I was really privileged to be asked to make caps for the Lost Lionesses. They represented England in the 1971 World Cup in Mexico, but they weren't officially recognised and they never received their caps for representing England. We made them with um, all of the England kits that Lionesses had worn after them to signify their impact on women's football and yeah, everything that's come after them. When England won the Euros, it was mental. Like, to be at Wembley and it was a packed stadium for the women's game was, like, insane. And then when we won, it was just, like, electric. And a day I'll never forget. 